Yes, my people, all about love, your reality, once again, magic. Eewee, eewee, eewee. Microphone check one, two, dedicated to all those who don't get a chance to live past 30. Some children die in their sleep. They die in the hospital. Some women die while giving birth. This is dedicated to all those who have not had the chance to live a life and to achieve things. See, I was a dancer before I woke up. I'm also an MC and I'm a cashier, master of fine arts, no undergraduate. So those watching this video, I don't care how pure we think we are, right? What's the pure way to go? The way to go is to honor the stars, honor those who came before you, honor the dead ones who didn't get a chance to get enlightened like I'm doing for you, and be grateful for your achievements and show people what you did I was a ballet dancer, I'm gonna show this right now. And I'm also a teacher of all the five elements. What I'm most proud of is teaching Earth as the cube in geometry, water the icosahedron, uh, air octahedron, fire tetrahedron, and the ether, the fifth element, do decahedron to children. Now watch this video, this is me in the building. <laughs> So I'm saying earth, the cube, right? Four sides or six faces, two children, little babies there. The first one in history to do this. All right, so you women out there, I am single, not saying it to be sexy, but you want a man who's a high octave. There's no point in having babies with low octave people, and I love them, but if you're a high vibration, you find that out through magic, through astro astrology, most importantly, you must learn how to teach astrology with your truth. I don't care if you're a breathitarian, yoga person, you must associate it to where it came from, the stars. If you're a vegan, if you're no longer toxic, so-called, and we think we're perfect, or if we're only into flat earth, and we don't do the work of astrology, then we're missing half the story. Now... So you see, I'm a dance teacher. Now today, some cool things happened. I teach people that have chronic pain dance. In this link right here, 202-11021, you find the numbers 151700. Slow it down, Jay. Now, open this video and show what you're doing. This is today. I still teach people. Okay. Here it is. All right. Facing this way. So you're right there. I think we're in the shot, okay. okay. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Five, six, seven, eight. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're making cubes. Seven, eight. We're making cubes. One, Watch. Two, three, four, oh. and hold five, and six, and seven, and eight. Who are we? Pinters. And then I hug her. Okay, this one had a, uh, a brain injury, and her left side is paralyzed, and I have chronic pain myself, so we heal through geometric dancing. Notice that we made Earth the cube, and the number again, one five, pardon my phone, hold on, hold on. 151700, oh, oh. you see it right there? Pardon my phone, and there's a vibrating T in the screen. One five one seven zero zero. Okay, Jay, get on with it now. Okay, I will now. Okay, so it's clear that your boy here has done stuff. Now, review. This number is very powerful and is the theme of my video and why I'm going after science. And I blame science for our depression and our dead ones. Two zero two one one zero two one. 
151700, the video of me teaching holistic dance, yes or no, to someone that has chronic pain like me. Now, 151700, ding, 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 is an ISS, ISIS, space shuttle view of Earth. Now they want me to expose NASA. That's a Photoshop picture of the Earth. Ha ha. Yes, it is. So, now review. This number here again, 151700, uh, you find the letters ISS, Expedition, ISIS, and you find NASA, which comes from Nahash, which means Serpent of Deceit. And you have a lion to your gazelle, you have a spider to your fly. I don't want to hear no stuff about, oh, but why would they do this to us? Why would they do that? It's called a human has a predator like everything else in nature, except you don't know what it is because it relates to you. It's your view of the earth. What is your view? How do things seem to you from your temple, from your holy place, your body? Well, the ISS space shuttle. We know we have the uh, SS police state of Nazi. Ding, ding, ding. Just put an I there. It's the same thing and it's your Nazi terror group. Okay, review people who are slow. NASA worked very closely with Nazi scientists. Fact, it's a true story known as Operation, look it up yourself, paperclip, Nazi and NASA. So would you trust a Photoshop picture of the Earth from an organization known as NASA, right, that changed once it got, I don't know, Nazi German scientists in there. And also, in case you're really slow, who were Hitler's bankers? Wall Street and J.P. Morgan. Your Monopoly board game was based on that one. You better wake your bum bums up. Something no likey humans here. Now back to your ISS, right? 151700, links helping me to slay demons, view of the earth. Takes you back to NASA, yes or no, and the cross right there of Christ. Look at that helping me. And ISIS, now, hmm. Let's go to NASA and see all the symbols they stole from you. First of all, that's uh, Project Mercury. Is Paul McCartney letters and parking meter. Oh, but Jay. Jay, that makes sense. They're using astrology, the logo of Mercury. And they have Project Gemini, in which Mercury rules in Gemini. But focus on the I. Greek mythology is you. Artemis, it is our father who art in heaven. Art would be stars that came before you. Artemis is a Greek goddess known as Diana, and it's of the moon, ding, ding, ding. No one landed there, and shame on NASA for not telling you that it's you. It's Zeus and Apollo and childbirth. Jay, go back, Apollo. NASA also has an Apollo program. It's your truth, okay? They're playing with you. These men and women can't leave the dome of the earth over your head. Artemis, once again, is the Greek, also you, goddess of the moon. Watch me cook. Jay, how does it relate to me? I'm a scientist and a star. The sun's just a dumb star. No, it is not. You have a lunate bone, fact, in your wrist. Do you understand me? The lunate bone means what? It means the moon. Moon, bone, carpal, moon, you. Lunate is you, bones. Do you get it now? Blowing your damn mind. Now, also, with the links taking me to powerful omens, 202-11021. Today, you find 120750. Ding, ding, ding. Jay, slow it down. Well, ding, 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 120750, blow on your damn minds. Get your name decoded by me for owning a $50 donation. 185 is 14 for five, yes or no? My name in Pythagoras, it's BC 5th, and it's Zeus's temple. Hi, temple, your brain. Hi, blowing your minds, people. A link brought me here. And you all know all my videos are about Greek mythology and you and Jupiter Zeus. And here it is, the temple of Zeus is you, is me, is I'm showing you who you really are. Now, I've also seen these combinations today as well. 202-11021. Right there again. Okay. Now. 120217, a different link now, is a cemetery. 
in Knollwood, mate, of London. A cemetery? What are the odds? Dead people speaking uh, for me? Hi, now also in the same photo. I do real research, y'all. Watch me cook. Reading Rainbow, take part in me. So many tabs are open here that I'm sure this will happen for everything now. Okay, when we swirl down the same photo of the cemetery, you will find my sacred numbers. Always. Here it is, the cemetery again, in case you're slow. All right, and what numbers do we find below? 185, people. Jupiter's number, the temple. 185 is 14, 4, 5. Do you understand me? Get your name decoded by me. And women, I am single, damn it. Now you want a high octave. Jupiter and Zeus are one and the same. If you're a truther and you think that you're pure from changing your diet or learning how to breathe or only doing yoga and you skip out on astrology, I'm telling you right now, you're missing out on the most important part. Jupiter and Zeus is jazz uh, or to jizz. Uh, yeah, right? Yes or no? To orgasm or music. It's called the gods, okay, Jupiter, Zeus, we get it, Jay. Now, but where do we live in our anatomy fact? It is called the Sag Eitel Plane. Watch me cook for your body. Sag Eitel means an arrow. There it is right there vibrating. No other technology will show you that. And if you tell me that my, um, my software is too hard to see because it's blurry, then you're the problem. You need to see that arrow is Sag Eitel is the where you live is Sagittarius. Do you understand me? Who rules the arrow and my, I don't know, photos and my links? Jupiter, Zeus, the temple, you is Sagittarius. Jupiter rules that. So if you're a Sag, you're very, you're very powerful. Okay, S-A-G is to sag. Do your tatas sag? Do your pants sag, rappers? Pythagoras numerology, J, slow it down. The one is a J. Mm-hmm, all day, the five is an E. Wow. The eight is an H, hallelujah. Wow, Jay. Now, good voice, Jay. Jay, repeat, the birth name is J-H-E. Nipple should be hard mentally, mental orgasms. Okay, J-H-E is the name. Jay, repeat it again, because some don't really get magic. J-H-E appeared in my own YouTube link. Now, did Christ turn water into wine, Jesus, and walk on water? What would this be today? YouTube, link, J-H-E, and the number two. 155 J-H-E in Chaldean is 1142. But I'm on 18514, it's five. Now, I am a Taurus, are you these signs? If you are, you're very powerful. Taurus, Aries of the tarot, ding, 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 Jupiter, hi, Mars, the Roman gods, and the number five, you have a head, two arms, and two legs. Look alive. You are a walking pentagram. Blow on your mind, y'all. Now, John 14, 6. We go to the John or the Lou or the bathroom. Are you in Lou or light of what I'm saying? Okay, John 14, 6, your bathroom. Jesus says this. Sounds like Jupiter to me. I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father, okay, Jesus, except through me. Father, hmm, is a fat her, a pregnant woman, Jupiter, blowing your damn mind. And there's the arrow vibrating there. Jupiter means literally our Father in etymology who art in heaven. And if you don't know Jupiter and teach this, you will not ascend. So if you miss this, truthers, this part of your truth, astrology is the thing you should be doing mostly. Now, it's kind of complicated, this Jesus Christ character. First of all, your phosphorus. It means the morning star, as I repeat it. It's in your urine where we get pissed off. Drink your morning urine. Don't even think about it. Use it to clean your eyes. Put it in your ears, your nostrils. Yep, get a little drip drop thing. Put it in your holy parts. It means to bear children. So when you lose your minerals, how do you get them back? Your urine. The Bible's telling you. Repeat, Jay, because Jesus is complicated. All right, G Lucifer is Satan and Diana. Remember the moon, Artemis? William is Bill, morning star like your urine, phosphorus. Venus again, astrology, morning star. And it means to bear children. Very good, Jay. Now it's clear. Okay. Notice the numbers uh, 537 there in the search engine. 
for the Revelation 22:16, Jupiter's number. That's the prime number of 185, my birth name. I, Jesus, am the offspring of David and the morning star, is what your Jesus says in Revelations. So it's a transgender, hi, it's a man and a woman. Well, how does that make sense? Well, Zeus is Jupiter. Zeus gave birth to Athena, a female, from his forehead. A, a man didn't have sex with anybody, and a body came out of his head. It was a female. Athena is Venus. Zeus is Jupiter. Fact. Your prime numbers are of 185 or 537. I'm blowing your minds. Incredible work, Jay. Takes you back to 120750, the link. My video took me here. So I'm astral traveling through my phone. So technically, I've traveled here through my own links. Zeus, temple, how is it you? Well, first of all, Zeus is Greek and Troy stuff. You have an ilium bone in your hip, it is a fact. Ilium means the pelvic bone etymology, but ding, 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 Ilium means the Troy and Iliad where Zeus, Aphrodite, and Artemis are and Apollo. The NASA didn't tell you that. Your temple of Zeus is you, a building for worship? No, it is not. It is the earth is flat. Flattened area on either side of the forehead, four arms and four skin, four arms of your Hindu gods? They all have four arms. Temple is your brain, is you, is me. Flattened is the earth. Let's look at Mount Meru to see what earth is. Mount Meru, would that not be your, uh, the middle part is the cube, the box, and your temple, the flat outskirts, flat showing you, and that's Buddha in the middle there? Who do you think Buddha is? You better wake up, people. Someone no like you on Earth. They're taking your truth. Earth is the cube or the hexahedron in geometry. There are five of them. If you only know four, you are in trouble for sure. And it has flat sides, like your brain is showing you. Now back to dumbass NASA. Bless them. With Gemini here, your truth. And Mercury. And the number seven. You have a seven pH balance in your body and seven days of your week. Back to your NASA Operation Paperclip in which they worked with Nazis in case you're slow and you still like to wear NASA t-shirts, you're supporting the Nazis. Mercury relates to your Bible in etymology. How do you know that, Jay? Well, if you scroll down, etymology actually shows you the American Mercury is your Bible. Blowing your mind, y'all. Nipples should be hard right now. If you're a Gemini, Gemini is ruled by Mercury. NASA knows your truth and didn't tell you this. Who is Gemini Man with Will Smith? Why is it a movie if astrology is bullshit? What is Star Wars? What is the Milky Way? Don't play with me here. Pluto is a dog in um, Walt Disney. It's a planet. Now, Archangel Raphael, Ruff, is known to be Buddha, hear me now, Hermes, and the orb known as Mercury, or Loki or Toth. But I'm focusing on Archangel Raphael is your Mercury. You better wake up. Someone knows your Raphael. Sounds an awful lot like the Raphae nuclei in your brain stem. And it means seem. Do things seem the way they're supposed to today? Are you tearing at the seams of your brain? You are Raphael. You are Mercury. Now... Notice the numbers 125815 there, 20211020, all my numbers responding to this car right here. All right? Now, I won't show the license plate. Basically, that number, 125815, relates to vinyl chloride may cause cancer. Another link leading me to, I don't know, your truth. Vinyl chloride is cancer in Virgo letters, or your curriculum vitae, or your corona and your V-I-R-U-S, or your V-A-C-C-I-N-E-S. Don't play around here. That's your high priestess. 155 is 11 for the number two, and she has the cross on her chest like you see my phone showing you. It's the number two. It's Virgo and cancer, or chloride, vinyl, the moon, and Venus. And I work at a cooperation. You want to cooperate because your vinyl chloride is used in processing plants. It's a human carcinogen that can cause liver cancer, brain cancer. Um, how many die from brain tumors and some cancers of the blood? 
vinyl chloride, the blood, and it's also your mammary breast cancer causes that, like your birth control side effects. You women should be careful and love this. Your vinyl chloride, again, is used in processing of your foods, food packaging. It's a fact. It's a fact. Um, get a lawyer. Get a lawyer. What's it doing in your damn food? And your dietary, you better wake up and get a lawyer. Now, vinyl chloride is in what? Vinyl chloride right there. Hare Krishna is in your cars, your new cars. When you buy a new car, that smell you're smelling, that smells really good to you, is actually death and you're getting poisoned and you wonder why now you have all these folks dying. Now, look at these number of deaths. 300,000 males dying of cancer. 200,000 women, but notice the numbers 3, 1, 5, and 8 there. I was born to slay demons. Cancer, 2019, over 500,000 deaths. Now, how many got cancer? One million of you got diagnosed with cancer. Do you understand that? So that's half of the people diagnosed will die. Notice 2, 8, 1, 5, 5 there, I say. Now, in Chaldean numerology, I'm not playing games. The 1 is a J for the dead. The H-E is a 5, 5. What I said are the prime numbers for your head of 1, 5, 5 or 5, 31 instead. And look at your coronavirus deaths right here. 5, 8, 1, 4, 3. I was born to love the dead. And you find 45 million cases of corona. I have compassion but only 700,000 deaths. Cancer is the leading one, people, out of your, I don't know, uh, coronavirus so-called statistics. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Shiva Boom Om, J-H-E. Much love to all, and please be careful what you are watching and feeding yourselves. Much love.